do Ethereum and Bitcoin, do they correlate? Not necessarily. Um, generally, if the crypto world is going well, um, the Ethereum is probably going to appreciate more than Bitcoin because it's newer, fresher, um, and has newer technologies, and Bitcoin is the old granddaddy um, of it. So they will both go up, but at different beaters, different rates. Um, if there's fear, or one is horribly overshot, at the moment, in the last few weeks, we've actually had relative overperformance of Bitcoin to Ethereum, because people are a little bit more conservative uh, now following the big run in Ethereum. So it also depends how far and how much they've done. Um, during the course of the year. So you can't ever make any sweeping statement. And, and if it holds and you can measure it for a while, those relationships invariably adjust and flex all the time. So it will depend on the news flow, it will depend on, on various aspects. Is Ethereum lined up to be the big player in cryptocurrencies next, do you think? I think you've got to watch being that singularity element where you think there's going to be just one. Um, I think it could, I think it's going to be significant. I think there's real developer power. They've got Vitalik Buterin, a real star. That's kind of the Elon Musk, um, the young Elon Musk for the, the crypto realm, and that's his bag. They've taken a more platform orientated approach, which is quite big thinking. Can they get really good quality coins to get released? If they have a lot of nonsense that gets released and they don't proliferate the platform with really good coins, you know, they could slow them down a bit. So it depends on their execution now, um, but I think their ideas have been good. So I think Ethereum is certainly one you want to have maybe a, a certain core holding in. If I was talking about having thirds and you have your HODL third, you may want to have part of that in Ethereum. Do you think it will be worth more than Bitcoin eventually? It's possible. Um, Bitcoin are facing a few big decisions um, in terms of their strategy. As mentioned, that their transaction costs were related in Bitcoin, and as Bitcoin's appreciated, that's actually escalated the cost. Also, they carry their whole ledger around with them, and as they've been around a lot longer, it makes them a lot slower. Um, but there's methodologies that they might uh, vote to take. So it depends what decisions get taken on Bitcoin. Bitcoin might have been held back relatively because of these issues. Markets hate uncertainty. Once there's a decision, suddenly they can accelerate then because now everybody, okay, we know what's going down. We now know this is what's going to happen and now we can move forward. So it's actually the uncertainty that markets tend not to like. Some might argue that Litecoin is better that, than Bitcoin. What are your thoughts on that? Yeah, well, that is, that is true because they've kind of, um, I think they've gone, they've made a few decisions before Bitcoin has been forced to face them and they've taken them early. And that we've had relative overperformance to Bitcoin from Litecoin as well, similarly uh, with Dash. But Litecoin is kind of a very close clone, uh, my understanding, um, to uh, Bitcoin. And they've done a Sedgwick and they're looking at the, the, the faster methodologies. So follow these narratives they can they can be they can be good and look for support for that fundamental notion in the relative performance charts so you can pull up a chart of litecoin versus bitcoin and this is what we tend to do a lot and then you can see the other patterns upside orientated or downside where's the volume coming in and is it growing relative to bitcoin